back again. It is the Country Rare Report. Yours truly, Big XL. Uh, All right, man. Let's get into it. Get into it. Nothing but good country rap music videos to review for you guys. All right. First up tonight, artist we've never ever had an opportunity to talk about. He goes by the name of Mr. David Morris. And the name of this joint is Come Back. All right, David Morris, come back. All right, the first thing I got to say is when I opened this up and I started to listen, I said, why did Spank send me this record? Spank is definitely, <laughs> loose. He's definitely loosening his footing when it comes to country music because he is doing this quite often now, which is fine with me. Norman Norfolk will be talking about you soon. Richard will be talking about you soon. Because we are starting to review a lot of what I consider new generation country artists. David Morris. Okay. 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 His, first of all, I actually like this song. This song made me smile. And actually, the record is about heartbreak, about working out a situation with your lady. But the record felt good to me. Um, I really like the singing, the, 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 the scene or the scenes of the video, him riding down the dirt road, even got some scenes where the dogs are running behind him. He's in the living room. Um, this is kind of like a song about a guy asking for his lady to come back or, or you know, someone asking for their mate to come back, you know, to try to make it yeah, work. Yeah, but he, he, he was with, he with somebody, though. It's too late. Like, you, you can't be having thoughts about the last chick when you with the next chick. Like, fam, move on. Get over it. You it's on some, some surreal... No, motherfucker, you worked it out when you got a new girlfriend. Like, you should have thought about that shit before you moved on. Now it's too late. Now now it's, you're not doing the new girl an injustice because you're not giving her any attention because you're really still thinking about the last girl. Like, fam, that is not, that's not a good way to be. Don't, don't do that. Don't do it. I, I, I'm, I, and I'm not tripping. This is shit we've all gone through. Hell, I went through it multiple times uh, until I just decided, you know what, I need to fix me before I move on and give, be fair to the next person because they're not going to get all of me because I'm still thinking about this last motherfucker. So, but he, he was, first of all, this ain't real country. And it ain't all the way country rap. I consider this rap and singing kind of like a Drake. Sing rap. Sing rap. Sing rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I give it that. And so I'm because it is that and that is his style, that is why I sent it. But the cinematography in this shit was amazing. Like I don't know who did it, especially the drone footage, but it was it's it's it was very cinematic. The colors were right because he was outside during the day and it went too bright, like so they did what they were supposed to do there. Like, it wasn't a whole lot of, it was some, but it wasn't a whole lot of overwhelming branding in the video, which I which really would have thrown me off. But, and it was just chilling. And it was more like having a casual conversation with the person he's thinking about, but not with them being there. He's doing it through song. Like, other than, you know, the, the, we're like, no, ain't no negatives. Like, this is a good song. This is a good video. It's a good visual presentation for him because, this is my very first time listening to any of his stuff. And then when I listened to this, it made me go listen to some other stuff when it really was country country. But this is more on a country with a really uh, rap overtone or rap undertone to it, which I respected. But the production level was good on this, both visual and audio. So I, there's nothing, I can, nothing negative I can say about this. Now, um, that's the weird thing, because I haven't went and listened to any more music, but I did listen to one song that he has a video dropping that we'll be reviewing called Beat mm -hmm. Up Hard, and he's rapping on that record. So maybe, okay, no, no. Uh, maybe David Morris, and you guys will definitely hear our um, review on Beat Up Hard, but maybe David Morris, Morris is just one of these um, versatile artists who can sing and rap. And the funny thing about, that, about this record comeback, it didn't make me think it made me sing, make me think sing rap, but it didn't make me sing, think country. I thought pop. It really had a strong pop feel to it. I could, this is, this record has the potential to cross over to Turban Radio to me. So, you know, David Mars definitely has a lane that people will love him as their 
slowly integrate it into what he does. But obviously, we're late because he has over 51,000 followers on Instagram. This this guy is um, major label material. Yes. For sure. Yes. All right. Next up is artists that we've reviewed before, but they are definitely working and getting music out to the masses. New Breed featuring Jesse Howard and Old Dirt Road. All right, the name of this joint is Won't Change My Ways. And by the title alone, this is the words of a lot of grown-ass people. We ain't changing our ways for shit. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Um, when I first started listening to this record, I thought about Gucci Man. Really? There's a guitar riff in this song that like, dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. I'm Gucci Man. Gucci, you're the best. I'm the best. I don't remember the Gucci <laughs> Man record. Okay, okay, okay. There's a okay. Gucci Man record. They use that same. It's probably a sample. It's probably live for a New Breed and Jesse Howard. But Gucci Man probably uses a sample that. Dun, 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 dun. But there's a Gucci Man record that's very, very popular. Older record that featured um Tiana Taylor, and it had that. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Gucci man, I don't remember the name, but she's a bitch. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was Tiana Taylor, though. No, no. Okay, yeah, I know what record you're talking about. Okay, but that guitar riff uh -huh. is is in that record. So instantly, this record got me. Um, now I think there's the last time we um, reviewed New Breed and Jesse Howard, we said that you know what, these guys definitely have a chemistry. They definitely right. have a chemistry that's working. And we also said that they're the type of artists that at first listen you might not like, but the more music you hear about them, the more you'll fall in love with what they do. That's right. how I felt about this record. And actually, the last record we reviewed had Old Dirt Road on it, and we was like, why was he singing? Well, right. on this one, Old Dirt Road gave us them bars and... Um, Man, I, I really like this record. I really, this is by far my favorite record by New Breed, Jesse Howard, and Old Dirt Road. I didn't, the video was kind of smoky and. And dark. Yeah. And dark. And. It was, it, it's, it's the consensus. Like you said, uh, no, like the title says, they, ain't, they won't change my way. Like you are going to continuously have these dark ass videos, so I, apparently, because we ain't. You're not going to change your ways about those because we keep getting them. Dark as fuck. I don't understand it. No, and I'm not ragging on that. This is y'all's thing. Like, like Vic said, like we have become accustomed to this presentation because this is what y'all like. This is, this is your imagery. This is part of your branding. So you're going to be consistent when, and keep putting it out uh, the, the same way. And I'm not mad at that. Like that, that is your thing. So that is your thing. Respect for that. I, I, I too like the guitar. I like the guitar solo at the end. I thought that was really dope. I hated the, I call it a possession echo, but it's, it's like when somebody's talking and they, rah, 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 you get that type of uh, 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 plug in or that, that type of effect added to the vocals. It was adding on our old dirt roll, uh, like at, towards the end of his, no, not, towards the end of his second or third stanza. And it got real weird for me, but then after that, they took it off and they went back to regular vocals. Uh, the record does, and this is consistent with all the other stuff I've said about there. There's, their stuff needs to be mixed and mastered. Like if whoever did the production on New Breed's vocals, oh, Jesse, Jesse Howard's vocals. Um, well, both of the vocals need to be mixed and mastered, but when he was singing, his, his, uh, his main vocal was at one octave. Uh, and his accompanying vocal or ad libs, if y'all want to call them that, it was like two to three, maybe four octaves higher in certain parts. Like you can't go, you can go two. When you start going three or higher, you need to add, add some sort of balance because you in. This is some educational. When you're doing scale, do re mi fa sol la ti do. You can only go up one or two. If you go past that, you need to add something in there that you missed, or it's going to sound off. Uh, audibly 
you need to balance it with something in the middle. So if you go do re mi fa, if you go if you're gonna use fa in the ad libs and do as your main vocals, you need to add a re and a mi as some sort of uh, dubbing vocal or overlay on the vocal to balance it all out because it's then you're now now you're sounding harmonic, and when it's not harmonic, then it's like real crisp on the ears and and it, and it's and it's and it doesn't sound like it's melodic. Also, I'm gonna throw these out, and I wrote them down because I didn't want to forget them. Coors, uh, Carhartt, Chevy, Cadillac, Champion, and Columbia. All of those was in this video. Not because we wanted them to be in this video, but y'all put branding all in this video when you didn't have to, because you have Outlaw Nation, right? They, they have their own brand, right? They could be wearing their own brand on their chest instead of these other shirts that are not theirs, that they do not 1,000% own. You own Outlaw Nation. You might own stock in Coors or, or whatever else it is, but you know, don't represent them brands in your video when they ain't paying you to. Represent your stuff. You, you, we are in the business of selling merch too. So I just, but also shirts and, and, and coogie, coogies, coolies and all these other things you could be throwing in the video. Bandanas, like all of that shit could be thrown in here, but I'm not seeing that. I saw, you know, six, seven brands that I did not need to see in this video. But one time for the dude playing the, the guitar, I don't know who he is. I didn't shout him out in the credits, but he deserved to be in the credits because he did his thing. Uh, loved every piece of that guitar solo at the end. Um, I knew as I was watching this video, you were going to say that. About <laughs> as I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, I already know what he's yeah. going to say. So... Every last one of them. Counted them. Hey, man. I was like, that shit made me want a Coors Light. I don't even drink Coors Light, but it made me want one. So they might want well to say, shout out to Coors. Cause, hey. But you know what? Again. Coors Light ain't bad. Just, right. Just, just, you know, talking shit. I, you know, out of everything about this, what it made me want? What's that? It made me want to hear some old Dirt Road solo shit. Because to me, Old Dirt Road went in on that last verse. Oh, for sure. For sure. His, 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 bar, his bars was better than everybody else's in there, like including the singing. But it didn't make me want to hear any, anything extra, though. It, it, he was a perfect accompaniment. It was almost as if he was a part of the group. Like, if he became a permanent part of the group, I would not be mad at that because he adds that other vocal contrast to the other two. So, which, which again, is about all that balance that I was talking about, like harmonic, harmonic, uh, harmony amongst the tones. You, we strive for that in music. That's what makes perfect music. Like I'm not saying this, this can't be a perfect song, but he he definitely needs to uh, put out more product because this is probably our what second or third time hearing old time road, old dirt road. <laughs> I call it old turn road, old dirt road. Uh, this is our second or third time reviewing right. something by him or something with him, right? And he was yeah. featured on another record by uh, New Breed and Jesse Howard. So okay, hope, okay. hopefully they're priming him for a solo run because I want to hear some stuff by him. Yeah, he's got talent. He's got skills. I mean, they all do. I still think the production level needs to be upgraded. But again, this is, this, this is their thing. This is what they want to do. So I'm, I'm not mad at the presentation that they're presenting. Or just that as long as it keeps being presented this way, then I'm going to continue to have my input on where I think it's lacking and it, where I think it needs to be elevated. All right. Next up is a group we talked about as a feature artist, but now it's time for them to step out and let's review some of their music. Next up, we have Tilly and Alpha. And the name of this joint is Something By The Back Row. First thing I got to say is, bro, how, and I know it's country rap. <laughs> when I see the term back road, I'm like, how many back roads will be rapped about? <laughs> what is it about back roads, though? I don't, I don't get it. When I came up, we fucked on the back road, so maybe that's what it is. But well, we used to take a girl oh, to the back be. road, and, and so I don't know. Um, <laughs> And that's not anything geared towards this song. It's just, I swear to God, it's a bunch of songs that mention back road. 
um, you know, having got a back road. Um, it's a bunch of goddamn back roads, bro. Jesus Christ. But all right, right. right. Tilla, Tilly and Alpha. Um, you know what? We talk about needing more groups. Um, these guys have been together about a year. Um, the funny thing, when I watched the video, I didn't feel like I was looking at a back road. I felt like I was looking at a neighborhood. So, but maybe they got nicer back roads than I'm used to. I don't know. Um, I really like Tilla, Tilly. I don't know why I keep calling the man Tiller. Tilly and Alpha's chemistry as a group. Um, okay. And I like the fact that Alpha throws in a little sing, a little sing, a little singy singy. Right. Know? So I like that, you know. And, we, and there are other groups that actually incorporate the singing and rapping. They don't incorporate as much as other groups, but it's it's just it's right on time. And like I said, with them just being in the game for a year, I think they're making great strides. And I think that these guys are primed to be a force like the Lax or Moonshine Bandits when it comes to groups. The video, okay. I, I the, video the video didn't really do a lot for me. I didn't dislike it. It didn't really do a lot for me. You know, I was cool on it. I hated the video. You hated the video? Uh, and I... I hated the video because of the coloring. And I know they did the coloring on purpose because there's blue where there should be green. And that annoyed me. And that that's, I don't, unless we're doing some sort of alien uh, scene or alien topography, and it's supposed to look all like an alien world, but this is supposed to be the back roads. Like that'd be the only time you need to be doing color contrast like they did. I hated the video, but I love the song. Um, also, there was also Coors in Columbia in this video, by the way. So I just want to throw it out there. I don't know. Maybe they were doing the blue because of the, you know, Coors got these cans that the mountain turns blue when they get cold. You know, so maybe they were doing the video so to make the scenery cold. I don't understand that part as I'm saying it out loud. Uh, I like Alpha, too. I think Alpha's skills are better than Tilly's, not in comparison, but it's, it's also a good accompaniment to Tilly's because Tilly's is more of a uh, uh, West Coast gangster type, if I can say that. Um, he, he just gives me that vibe. But but Alpha gives me more of a old school, um, I think I said this in the other video, but he, he, he just reminds me of, of No Limit days. Like he might've been a part of that crew. Like he would be in uh, the production crew that would, that made all of the beats and shit for, for everybody that was on the label. I like a lot of parts of the song. I like the cadence. I like the beat. Um, I would have liked to have heard those chords that are in that song a little bit more. And I don't know if that was a bad mix when they got the beat and then just wrapped over the beat and kept a two track or whatever. But the chords that were in the track should have been turned up or, or could have been turned up had they did the proper mix and master and they had all of those files. But because the chords in there was awesome. Um, but that's just the producer in me. Uh, the, again, I everything on here and I think most of the stuff consistently when we do hear it, everything we get it needs a good mix and master on it so the, the, if the industry isn't calling for it then, then fuck what I'm talking about just keep throwing the music out there however y'all want to and keep selling records so I want to hear more from them uh, I haven't heard anything negative from them so far and this is our second time reviewing a project with them on it uh, I am definitely I'm, I'm starting to become a fan if the jury's still out. I need one more record before I can say I'm a fan because you haven't like knocked the door down on me yet. Right now, you're just whetting my appetite. Uh, I probably need to listen before I view because I keep getting videos that, that I'm not getting great video representations. Uh, and that, that's not on you guys. That's just on the video director. But I like the song. Something about a back road. It's, it's, it's not trash. Uh, definitely not trash. It's, this is a good record. So for the most part, uh, the criticism would be video and mixing and mastering. Other than that, they're in pocket. But, for sure. Like, I, I mean, and I think we get, I get that a lot. Like, most of my critique is usually on the production side. It's not on the artists and their level of talent. It's on the producers. The producers are failing most of these people in the, in the genre. It isn't the talent. The talent is there. The producers, one, aren't pulling out the, the most that they can, they can out of the artists they're given. I'm hearing where some artists aren't even catching the beats right, or they are faster than the beats, 
and the, or the beat is so loud that it's overwhelming the track like this is all stuff it sounds great audibly when you're playing it in the car but from an industry level profession it is subpar and i don't want to continue to keep hearing that in the genre because it just shows that we're not taking it serious as a genre and i i, I, I refuse to, i'm gonna be afraid of it i refuse to be thrown into that little pocket of oh this ain't real this is just a gimmick. No, fam, I'm, 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 this is for real. For me, this, this is real because I'm spending my time in it and I'm trying to help make these people better. This is real to me. I want it to be real to them and I'm gonna make you recognize it and it be real to you by giving this consistent critique on how to up, upgrade your level of expertise. Because this, the mixing and math, the mystery and mastering is damn near like, it's like they're allergic to the shit. Like makes nobody doing it. Uh, and then when you do hear it, it's still not mixed and mastered all the way. It's like there was two different mixing and mastering engineers, one on one side. And then when, when the feature comes in, somebody did it on that side and they just, they don't, you can hear the, the level and the quality of the, of the work. It's just not equal. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Last video of the day. Mm. One of my favorite artists in the country rap genre is Mr. Demon Jones. And this joint features Chris Calico and Let me Ron go first. Can I go first? 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 Let me go first. Let me go first. Okay. <laughs> Let me go first. You, hey, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, we had just talked about how the level of mixed impression was subpar. This record is probably one of the best produced records that we've heard so far in the entire genre. And I'm saying that I don't know who did it. Don't care who did it. Also, this video, the video production of this is also one of the best that we've seen in the entire genre out of, and, and we've watched hundreds as of right now. And we're in, the, I'm not going to date this video but, because we, we try to pull back from that. Out to our country rap report award show, this, I guarantee you, this would be one of the videos that will be not only in song of the year, but also video of the year. There's, you can't dispute the quality of this work right here, video-wise. And I got so excited after I watched it the first time, I reached out to Drake and I was like, bro, this is the best shit I've seen since the Demon, Adam, and Broadnax video. Uh, and, 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 and he was, you know, he, he said, appreciate it. I appreciate the, the, the feedback, but he said it was a monsoon then because we knew it was raining because we could see the drops in here. But when you look at this video, just, just visually, you could put it on mute. Watch the background. When they were shooting this shit, there's some scenes in there of some lightning going through the crowd. That, that shit was so beautiful and on point that it made the video like be escalated to a completely different level because it's hard as fuck to catch lightning. You can't really predict it, you know, unless you're forcing it and you're pulling it down. But they, they caught lightning at least 30 to 40 times in this video just me watching it the first time because I was like, what is that light they shooting in the back? So I paused it and I kept looking. I was like, oh shit. They caught lightning while they were shooting. Like, you can't time that better than that. This is God, like, giving you extra uh, effects, you know, and, and use that to your advantage. Then when I listen to the song, okay, I don't know what a big dude is. Ne never heard anything from him. Not mad at him either because the dude got skills. Don't know who the white dude is. And, and the other white dude, not Demon. The, uh, the singing dude. The, when I heard him, I was like, oh, he got a Justin Timberlake vibe. Okay, I like him. You know, but then when I'm listening to him, I'm like, okay, what? Don't give me that look. And then when I'm listening to him, I was like, okay, that ain't Justin because he don't look like Justin. But he give me that. He give me that. Um, he give me that. When Justin was with Jay Z, he type, he came with the perfect harmony and the per perfect vocals. Like this is dope. Then I'm hearing the production. I was like, ah, uh, this could be an EDM record. But as it is, this shit is probably top forty. This is definitely be on the radio if they wanted it to go on the radio. Like this is a perfect depiction of Demon Jones and his level of expertise. I don't know if this is perfect for country rap because this is fucking pop right here, 1000%. But all of the elements that are in the singing, the rapping by both of them, like it, this, is, this is just phenomenal work. Like this is definitely at the top of my list for every top category that they would, they would be eligible for, for sure. And I'm not being biased just because Demon lives next door. I'm just, giving my professional and honest critique on the work that I'm giving. Okay. I was so excited. First of all, let me 
Um, because there might be other people like you. First, uh, Burn mm -hmm. County. Burn County. That's, That's the black dude or the white dude? Burn County is the gentleman singing. Burn County, okay. they are a, um, they're producers or a producer. Okay. I'm not sure if it's a collective or one guy. I'm not sure. Um, but okay. Burn County is the person that's singing the hook. Their production credits. Okay. Justin Timberlake, that's the name. Moonshine Bandits. Okay. Okay. I respect that. Crucifix. Okay. Adam Calhoun. Ryan Upchurch. Which records? Bubba Spark. Which record? Oh, shit. Long this still got, got, he got some, uh. Cypress Spring. Oh, Dusty nice, Lee. Nice, nice. And okay, work okay. on the Outlaw Project between Demon and Struggle. I mean, between Adam and Struggle. Oh, so he probably did some of the works that we liked. They are. I mean, we don't. We don't fucking know because they don't give fucking credits on the album. So it's annoying. Now, this is the weird thing. On Instagram, they have less than a thousand followers. How are they working with this? This is what I, I talk about um, when I talk about like the video and the people who comment on, who directly comment to us about Country Rap Report. Uh -huh. They like it, they love it. But obviously, they don't talk enough about it to make other people recognize it. How can Burn County, a production outfit, with these credits have less than a thousand followers, bro? Well, I mean, I don't know why. I mean, but it's the same reason they're not going to give us the credit that we deserve. It's because no, the man, no, 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 it ain't that. It ain't that. No, I'm saying these people, the Burn County is a Justin Timberlake singer dude, right? Yes. Accompanying people, if it's not the star, no one else cares about it. They're just they're just side side work. They're they're side pieces. They are not relevant until you make them relevant, which is in you put them in front of the camera or in front of a microphone and now people see. The people that actually make the shit move, the engineers, the producers, the beat makers, the video photographers, the editors, all of the media people, like they're not fucking relevant, which is why the artists use them, all of those other accompanying pieces as much as they can to get in, uh, to get in front of everyone else. But they aren't doing us justice because they aren't bigging up us when we actually do what we're supposed to do. This dude, if he produced this record and he was singing on it, I'm telling you, Vic, this is, this is, Top level. This is industry standard type work. I'm talking about standard as in this is a gold record. This is a platinum selling record. This is a top 40 record on uh, major radio. Like that level of quality is there in the production of this record. I don't know. We don't know if Demon is ever going to get to that, that level or that threshold, but the quality is there. And as long as the quality is there, and, and I don't think Demon's ever had low quality anything, and most of the shit that I've seen and or heard, like this is this is his brand. This is he puts out superior work over everyone else. He outgrinds and finds. I don't know where he found these people, but wherever you found them, it was a perfect marriage between their talent and his talent. And he presented it this way, and we got Cornfield on fire. Like this is this is dope, fam. I think this is next level for Demon. And I think this record is big for the country rap genre. Um, now, let me tell you. This is, this, is, this is bigger than country rap. Right? Yes. This is a top 40 record. This for is sure. Top. Now, this is the thing. So, for all those who don't know who Chris Calico is, Chris Calico not. was the right-hand man for Tech 9 over at Strange Music and released six projects on Strange Music. Mm -hmm. He took the mm -hmm. past. He took the past four years off, and he just released his seventh project on Strange Music. And now he's officially formed his own label called Earhouse Music. I just wanted to drop that. But this Ear is House very, Music. this okay. is a very seasoned veteran who is amazing, and I'm saying this because I've seen it. Amazing lyrically, 
and amazing on stage. I've always said, if you ever, ever go to one hip hop show in your life, make it a Tech Nine show. And this is when Chris Calico was with him. I don't know how he looks without Chris, but this man is a veteran to the highest accord when it comes to stage presence, lyrical. All his projects are up there. It's just he has never received any type of radio success, but he's always been with Tech Nine, which means he has definitely, definitely moved shit tons of units. To oh, for sure. To, to, for sure. To do seven albums on an independent label, you ain't yeah. been heard. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, yeah. Um, one of the biggest claim to fame, well, not a claim to fame, but one of the things is he's a spokesperson for Vertigo. Um, if you look very close, you notice he has a very rare skin disease, what makes it look like patches. Um, so he's um he's a spokesperson and for Vertigo, the um okay skin disease. But man, when I see Chris Calico, Demon Jones, I was automatically like, what the fuck? This can't be it <laughs> would be impossible <laughs> for it to be wet. Right, right, right. I didn't know who Chris was. Um and I, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I'm not mad at nothing I've seen, fam. This song is so dope. I got, I'm, I, I got it on repeat. It's right there, right now with with Catfish for me. Like this is up there, up there with the genre. Like it's very few songs that's, that's better than this quality wise, um, uh, and even content wise. Cause it, I mean, all, they all came with the with the talent. This is dope. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the funny thing. When um, you look at it, right? Right. And when I look at the video, and this is... Oh, uh, let, let me throw out a little, little shade, though. I wouldn't like to have seen, you know, myself in this video. Like, Demon, I, I, li I live in Macon, fam. All you got to do is inbox it, brother. I'll be there in, like, 20 minutes. You know, I, hey, just holler. I'll be in all the videos. I'll even hold the camera. Just let, just let me know. I'm available. Not Mondays and Tuesdays. But I'm available. I'm available, man. This was... That was this was big boy shit. Like this is a great this is a, way, a great way for us to end the record. I mean, end the show because this was big boy shit. But this is the weird thing to me. And when I when I watched the video and we listened to the song, I felt like that country rap genre isn't ready. Because when I look at the numbers on this video, mm -hmm. um, it's been out at the time of us recording this a week. 168,000 okay. views, right? Right. 320 dislikes. Oh, my God. Maybe, maybe it's... Because this is really, really popish. Yeah. Like, maybe the, those were hard fans of Demons that was like, what are you doing? Like, I want to go back to the rapping. You finna go mainstream. Cause this is a fucking mainstream look video. Like maybe, maybe it was those fans. Maybe it was the hardcore Demon Jones fans that they want him, they love him, and but they love him and they want to keep him, but don't want him to see him grow and be greater than where he is right now. Not saying that where he is right now isn't a good place, but bro, if you can go from just hyper, throwing this hypothetically out there, but if you can go from making twenty thousand dollars a show to two hundred thousand dollars a show, like go get your money, fam. Like, go to that. Like, if you need to just start doing this type of music, and I love this type of music. If you need to start doing this, uh, and it pisses off a few fans, but it leads to a little bit more money, then run to it. Don't look back. Don't don't even consider looking back. And don't and do it being unapologetic. Do what you want to do. This is your music and your brand and your, your lifestyle that you got to live. You got kids to raise and shit. Don't listen to any of that other bullshit. Damn them negative. Let that be the inspiration to keep doing whatever you want to do. Well, when I watch it and I um, look at the dislikes, it just makes me think. Um, it makes me think of us doing Country Rap Report. And the average people might look at us and say, why are they not reviewing regular hip hop? Why are they reviewing the Migos? Why aren't they reviewing videos by Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy? That leads me to say, I, hey, man. I can give them the answer to that if they want to they want to know the that answer to that. I, like, why why would we review some shit that we can't change? Like that that genre, core hip hop, is controlled by three major labels, 
that are that it will not allow the core to be changed to where they are losing money. Um, country rap has no real major label influence. There might be a couple of infiltrators here and there, but like this is wide open. The genre is wide open for, but over also over here, it's the same way that hip hop was when we first started. Like this is all original content. It is all unfiltered content. It is all genuine content. Now I'm not saying all the numbers and shit that are out there are genuine, but the shit that you're getting, the talent level, it is all 1000% raw because there isn't any infiltration or manipulation from any other major label. You want that. You want authentic talent because authentic talent you buy into and you know that it's real and it's going to be there continuously for as long as you want to watch it until the bullshit starts happening and then you get fabricated stuff. They tried last year with Nas X, but the, the genre figured it out real quick and totally said, you know, this ain't going to happen. We ain't even going to embrace this shit. So forget that. But I I don't. We also get a lot of detractors because of you know our skin color. You know we're not supposed to be over here reviewing this stuff because this isn't music for us. But we're not here for that. We're here to make the genre better and help elevate it to a certain standard, at least production and video wise and audio wise, uh, to where it is respected. Because throughout other genres, country rap is a it's it's. How can I say this and be uh, filtered? It's a laughing stock. It is not taken serious. It is the joke of the music industry. Um, and, and, and it's because of the color of your skin, not ours. So we're here to help balance that bullshit. We're here to help filter out all of the other negative that you're going to get from core hip hop and validate that it, oh, it is a real genre. There are real fucking spitters over here that it will put you in. The, you put some of the dope spitters over here in country rap in the same ring with some of the dope rappers over there in core hip hop, they will go toe to toe. I go, I will put Broad Knox and Big Poe in the ring with anybody over in core hip hop. Anybody. I might, and there's a couple of other ones, newer ones uh, that I would probably throw in there, but I've got to hear a little bit more product from them. But I, Adam, I will put Adam over there. I'll put Up Church in any ring with any other guy that's in core hip hop. And there's a couple of others that do stylistic type shit. Like Cindy Sticks, you know, him and Andre 3000 might be neck and neck. And I know that's some taboo to even say to me, even mention Andre 3000 and Cindy Sticks in the same breath. But seeing got that level of talent. But he's not going to even be in that conversation because people over in core hip hop don't know anything about him because he's still over here in country rap. And people will be like, oh, what is Immediately when you mention country rap, they're like, what is that? Or, oh, that's that. That's the stuff over there with the white folks. No, fam. Get all that shit out the head. Because it, these there's some talent over here that will bury your ass. Not to mention there's some shit over here you might even like because it's fucking real. The shit you listen to on the radio, it's all mumble rap. I ain't no lyrics in that. Like, come on, fam. You got to do better. Get Take the negative condensation out your head. Take all that filter shit that you've been given over throughout the years. Erase it. And here, check out this, this single by Big Pope. Check out Catfish. Check out uh, Cornfield on Fire by Demon Jones. This is country rap, though. Check it out. And I guarantee you, you won't have that same thought pattern that you had before you said that. And, and, and you listen to these music and be like, well, this is country rap? Like, yeah, fam. There's levels to this shit that you're missing. And you're missing it because you are willfully being neg neglectful. You are willfully accepting the bullshit that the media is giving to you. E erase all of that and come on back. And we, we are embracing you. We're trying to help filter the stuff in and give you as much as possible from the unsigned to the major ones in the genre. We're giving it all to you. Well, I definitely agree. Um, TJ Freak. I don't know oh about guys God. that can lyrically match TJ Freak. And even the production, they don't want none of, that. Even the they don't production want none of that. Of the guys that, like, come on, bro. That Burn County, bro, that, that track is so big. That track bruh, is so big. That I can't think of a lot of records being played on the radio right now that's as big as Cornfield on, on Fire. You're right. And if, if Vern County is churning out those type of beats, then some people over there need to come over here. But I also see, and this is one of the, <laughs> this is one of the things I think, and um, 
And I was thinking this when you was talking about um, videography and more so with the production. I think a lot of right. times we live in the box. Artists live in this box. And we fuck with who we fuck with. And in fucking right. with who we fuck with, there might not be any progression. And, and you know, I'm a, I'm a victim of that. I'm a victim of that. And Country Rap Report is a living testament. For my entire life, and it's not that I'm hard to work with, but for my entire life, I had a vision and I wanted to stay on track with that vision. And in staying on track with my vision, I maybe overlooked people that I should incorporate or didn't incorporate people that can help get me to that finish line. Right. And we bring them board Heather and she takes the vision and makes it bigger. So right. a lot of times we are afraid. So we'll stay stuck in our little box because we're afraid that this person is going to attain it or this person is going to take it or this person is going to make me look like what I don't want to look like. Sometimes we got to be open-minded. They're our dreams. But we got to be open-minded right. and sometimes incorporate people that bring a level of professionalism to what we're doing to help us elevate. That's how I feel about a lot of these country rap artists. All right, we're country rap. So we're going to get Bubble. Bubble make beats. Um, John make beats. <laughs> But you know what? No, you might need to go get with a little, little whoop de whoop who made right. your baby little baby record. Or maybe you need to holler at some guys who make hip hop beats. Or maybe, maybe Bubba made you a beat that you like and put you in pocket. But Bubba mixes shit. Maybe you need to get with a hip hop producer <laughs> or you know, an engineer. Like I'm just saying, sometimes, bro, in order to get the success we truly deserve, we gotta open our minds and step outside the box. We can't be afraid of getting fucked. No one, I don't want to get fucked. I don't want to get fucked. Or this, bro, these are life lessons that we learn during our journey. Right. And if, and if it's your dream, there is very little that you can bounce back from because people can't take the dream. But sometimes right. you, gotta, you gotta open up. To me, all 320 of you people, if you don't like the Demon John records because he went in a different record, shame on you for not wanting him to grow. Because this record Agreed. with Chris Agreed. Calico and the track record that Chris Calico had from being with Strange Music all that time, can you imagine if Chris Calico went on tour and the people that supported him, because, bro, you can't be Tech Nine's right-hand man for all these years and don't have a fan base. So imagine if Chris Calico... Well, it, 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 what, if, what if those... Those likes might have, those dislikes might have come from Chris Calico's fans because he's been gone for four years and he come out with a record with no. a country rapper. No, no, no. He's been gone for four years, but he just released a record called The Revival on Strange Music. Okay. Where he took four years okay, off, okay. dropped his last record. Now he's embarked on his own journey. And maybe you're right. Maybe, but guess what? That those people probably not used to Chris doing that type of shit too. Right. So it's it's still about the growth. It's it's con being consistent with what you were saying. It's still about you being content with it and comfortable with hearing an artist in a certain pocket, and then when they go outside of that pocket, oh, you're like, oh, no, I'm not into that, fam. You know, but it's all about growth. You can't expect somebody to be on the same monotonal level for as long as, you know, really, those windows should only be like four to five years, and then you need to be switching it up and, and growing. Like, for four to five years, you can stay in that pocket, but then after that, you need to be elevating and repeat that whole process, or you're going to be making the same type of music your entire fucking career, and that could span 20, 30 years, then you're stuck. Then you're not able to grow. But, you know, this is, this is what comes with growth. I'm okay with it. Like, let them hate. Bro, this song to me is so... This song, again, we gotta, we gotta get to these awards. This song is definitely... Song and video. Song. This song is definitely song. Be in the category uh, of song. Video too. You ain't even gave your critique. critique. Bro, all I can say is you come on with it. You ain't even gave your full critique. <laughs> there is nothing I seen wrong with it. Period. <laughs> the only thing wrong with right, it, right, they right. didn't fucking invite me, like you said. The only thing wrong is they didn't. Invite I know, me. right? <laughs> Bro, Demon Jones. I've been saying since the first time we've ever reviewed a Demon Jones record. He's one of my favorite artists. When I follow him on social media, he seems like one of the most direct artists that's tapping in with his fan base. He loves his family. Like, bro. You know, it's like he stays away from the bullshit and he's just doing his thing. Now, 
And then not to mention, bro, you got two veterans on that stage. Chris Calico with his mm -hmm. strange music background and Demon Jones with his rehab background. Bro. Okay. Bro, country rap, y'all got to open your mind. Yo, you 320 people, whether you came for Chris or whether you came for Demon. Hey, man, take go back and take them dislikes off. Because... <laughs> Because the dislike might make a person not watch the video, bro. I, I, bro, I, if you took, they need to get in it though. If you took, if they, every if they get in Jones it, video. If they, I, I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you take every Demon Jones video on his page, I bet if you uh -huh. add up, he don't have 320 dislikes, bro. Mm -hmm. So y'all, somebody tripping, bro. Just, 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 just let them shine. And, and then I also feel like, man. When we talk about music, there's a form of unity that comes with this shit. You got this black guy and this white guy on stage just having a good ass time in a cornfield. Right, right, right. In the cornfield. In the rain. What the fuck? How you mad at that? You mad at yourself, fam, because this is a this is a great fucking song. Great fucking video. They tripping. They tripping hard. Whoever didn't like it wanted to hear some of that don't nigga don't 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 nigga don't don't. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? And I, I, I can, I'm going to have to co-sign with them for just a brief second. Because for a moment, I was not the greatest Demon Jones fan. I just thought he was, I, I always put him in that Snoop Dogg pocket. Like, you're great with making music. You got a great personality. People are going to gravitate towards you. But your music ain't to the level of some Kanye's or some Beyonce's or Drake's and that type of shit. You know, you, you make good music, but it be consistently good. But it ain't great. But now lately, I'm hearing this this just greatness. It's like he's elevated his whole craft. It, it, I don't know if he's taking it more serious or he's just being more of a family man. And you know, now he's able to differentiate between business and the personal life. Like I, I don't know, but it seems like there's a difference between the demon that we heard last year and the demon that we're hearing this year. And the demon that I'm hearing this year seems to be more diverse and open to different type of productions because this record. This I'm 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 I don't know if I've ever said that about a country rap record, but this yeah I have I've said it multiple times. This record deserves to be on radio, like national radio. And I don't care what genre you want to stick it in. This is a good record. This is a good presentation. To hell with it being country rap. This is a good audible and visual presentation for anybody. So if you if I and and. Well, this is what I'm going to do. When I'm done with this, I'm going to share this record in some other groups of different uh, music types. And I want to see what they say, just to get their input and how they feel about the record. Because I really want to see if it's just because they see, I mean, they, they probably don't even know that Demon Jones is a country rapper. They're just going to see, you know, two white guys and a black dude. They might know who Chris is. I'm not sure. But I, I'm going I'm to I'm run my own little experiment with the music just to see what type of feedback we give and then I'll just come back and do some sort of report on it when we do the actual video, when the actual podcast goes live or might even put it on social media. I don't know. But I want to play with it. I want to experiment with it just to see what, what the feedback is. Well, I got to say this. Got to, got to say this. Demon Jones and this, I don't know if this is the first single or what, but Demon Jones has a brand new project Coming out, it's up for pre-order right now, which means by the time this airs, it'll probably be out. And I think it's called uh, Son of the South. Southern Sun. Southern Sun. And it's up for pre-order. be his third album this year. Wouldn't it be his third album this year? He had one before Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, one of them holidays. Then him and his kids did a project. Like, this would be his third project. And it's going to feature 11 songs. He's got Brandon Hart on there. Hart with, the, with two T's. <laughs> okay. um, you know, I'm upset that he doesn't have <laughs> Dusty Lee on here anywhere, but I'm sure Dustin Lee's busy. And um, this joint with Chris Calico and Burn County. And other than that, it's um, oh, him. It's him. So um, okay. This is album number five for him. So, hey, man, I'm definitely going to be checking out. We're we'll definitely be reviewing it. And, man, I, again... It's some of these artists that every time I review them, I see the growth and I'm growing as a fan. And Demon Jones is one of those guys. Uh, my, my critique of the record and video is masterpiece. Um, 
again, it wasn't what I expected, but when I seen Chris Calico, really the funny thing, my expectation was so high because I have a high expectation for Demon because he's hit it out the park with the last few videos, the fly video, the video with him, Adam, and, and <laughs> right. Brian. So, right. so he's hit it out, he's consistently hitting it out the park as if he was Corey Bellinger or Mookie Betts. So I can't be mad at Demon Jones. Did you notice those references? I did. They were both Dodgers. Not a brave and in sight. It's all good, though. It's all good. Are we giving Demon enough credit? I don't think the world, the genre, is giving Demon enough credit. I think when people think country rap, they say Adam Calhoun. They say Ryan Upchurch. They might say the Lax or the Moonshine Bandits. Or they might say Adam mm. Calhoun. They might say Adam Calhoun. They might say Ryan Upchurch. They might say Savannah Dexter. And then they right. might say Average Joe Records. And I think country rap right. is fit right. in that box. Right, right, right. I don't even know if they'll say Moonshine Band and Lax. They might just say Average Joe Records, mm -hmm. Adam Calhoun, Ryan Upchurch, and this new chick, Savannah Dexter. And they'll probably definitely say this new chick because she hasn't imprinted long enough in the genre. I don't think Demon is will be mentioned in the elite, and he should be. Because talent-wise, he is running neck and neck with these people and taking a chance when it yeah. comes to taking a chance with his music and his style and his fan base. Shit. We ain't seen Adam and Ryan do no shit like this. And that's not hating on them. But I'm saying... No, true, 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 true. That's not hating on them. Because cause Ryan will put out a country album. Obviously, Adam is headed that, that way. But, man, Demon just shot for the stars. As Pop so Smoke say, he just shot for the stars, which means no, he'll definitely reach the moon. I, I mean, are we – okay, on the artist side, that's true. But are we not giving him enough credit on the business side, too? Because you, you – I think we you talked about it in another cast about – him having his own label, right. and yeah, Brandon Hart and Dusty Lee was on that, which we didn't know. Uh, with two T's. Yeah, with two T's. Brandon Hart. <laughs> uh, and Dusty was on the same on his label, but where, where like this is, I don't know. I, I might need to study Demon a little bit more. It's probably gonna be hard because he moves in silence. But this is this is eye opening for me because I, I'm as I'm speaking it out loud, I'm thinking about it. I don't think I was even giving Demon enough credit. Even though I respected the talent and I respected the business acumen, he has proven that he's definitely business savvy because he's doing some shit that other labels aren't doing in the genre. And he is not afraid to cross any boundaries musically by doing this type of work. Uh, and he's doing all of these work consistently. With, with with very little effort. I don't know if well, it looks, looks like to us it might not be any effort. It's probably I know it's hard work. I'm not discrediting any of that. But I, I am I am becoming a, a bigger Demon Jones fan these days based off of those things. Like this is this is good shit. The genre needs this. He needs to be pushed to the forefront. He doesn't need to be playing back or side saddle or being an afterthought. He needs to be in everybody's top five to ten for sure. And then you know how artists don't um, – artists – bro, Savannah Dexter, and this is just numbers. Savannah Dexter has 99.7 mm -hmm. followers on Instagram. Demon okay. Jones has 159,000. Now, this is not a knock on Savannah Dexter. Dexter this is like 139,000. Demon Jones has been in the game so much longer. Great for Savannah Dexter, but come on. Demon Jones should definitely be doubling Savannah Dexter in numbers just if for no other reason his longevity in the country rap game as well as his previous history with rehab. Right. But to show you the dope part about it, and I tell you, like, he's people friendly. And I'm just only using Savannah as a comparison. This is by no hate. She just was the first thing that came up. No, no problem. No problem. She's following 234 people. Right. Right. We, know, we know artists get on that shit where they don't really want to follow people, right? Right, right. right. Chris Calico, Chris Calico has 284,000 followers. He's following 401 people. Okay? okay. Now, maybe this is wrong. You tell me. Demon Jones, 139,000 followers. 
he is following 4,959 people, including Ryan Dirty. Oh, that's what's up. Bro, my man has up. definitely not forgotten where he comes from. And I think artists go through and delete people. The bigger they get, they start deleting. And the, the following number gets lower and lower and lower. Like, you're so popular that we're just going to follow you and you're not going to follow nobody else. Um, again, right. I, don't, I don't understand that logic, and maybe I'm backwards for that. But to me, bro, do you know how people feel when – you know how I felt when I just seen you falling around dirty? You, oh, you just not found out? Yes. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Now, he's commented before um, when I reposted his videos, and he's clicked like. But I didn't know who was following. But yes, he's following. Like, bro, sometimes people don't even know that that is the biggest form of gratitude. They say, hey, man, I, I respect what you're doing, too. So, again, you know, the bigger the artist, it seems like the less they follow. You see these artists who got, you know, let's just see. One more. I'm going to do one more. The, 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 bigger, the bigger the ego of the artist. It's not the big of the artist. Because some of these artists are still lower level, and they still refuse to follow us. Like, we ain't gonna call him no name. I ain't Big gonna Draco. shoot no shot. Big Draco, Soldier Boy. Big Draco, Soldier. 6.3 million followers. Mm -hmm. And he's following 483 people. Oh, that's fucked up. You know, at one point, he used to charge people to follow. <laughs> On his website, he would charge for follows. When the follows would only be there for 30 days, it was in the disclaimer. Uh, I was one of those people who paid, by the way. You know, but it, it is what it is. You know, for thirty days, I I could say, "So do I follow me?" Again, it's it's a rap thing. We can't we can't compare the rap thing to the country rap thing. Like I, even though some of those uh, mindsets are filtering over here slowly, but rap rappers think different than country rappers. Country rappers like they, they actually, especially the artists, they actually give a shit. They actually comment. They actually give feedback. Like, you say something about a rapper, you know, and you can even talk about their mama. They ain't going to say shit because it'll look like that they are giving you the attention instead of vice versa. Uh, and, and that is taboo in rap. But over here in country rap, like, the, even the, the artists, the producers, like, we get inboxes and comments from all of them. But, and, but won't get a peep from a fan. So it, it's night and day. It's contrast. But the, we know that the fans are watching because the numbers are there. Uh, and we're getting the right interaction that we're supposed to. <clears throat> it's all good though. I'm I'm not tripping and I'm not uh, stating anything that's going to be contrary to what you guys are thinking. I just want to throw out there that um, Demon Jones is legit. Uh, Demon, I apologize for not giving you the credit thus far up to this point, but I guarantee you going forward, uh, all the praise that you deserve, I will do my best to shoot it your way, for sure, because you deserve it. And I would and. For the record, I was never a huge rehab fan. Uh, even the Jericho days, I was never a rehab fan. I only got into Demon recently, and I still had that same sentiment that he was, you know, the Snoop Dogg of, of country rap. Just that guy. But now you, you, you're, you're, you're getting – I need to re rethink some things because you're, you're definitely not that level of talent. Not saying the Snoop Dogg is bad. <laughs> I'm saying that I don't want you to be stuck in that little pocket to where you're comfortable and not try to do other things. Uh, with, you, you have proven to be better than that. So that was all my fault. My bad. All right, man. We ended the show on a high note. For real, for real. Big up to Demon. Demon just changed. Yeah. Not that we was on a bad note, but Demon just came through and changed the whole vibe, man. Like, Cornfield on fire. If you're not listening to it, if you had not listened to it, Bro, I'm adding the videos added to the playlist on YouTube. I'm adding the record to the Spotify playlist. Like, big ups to you, Demon Jones, and much success, bro. Like, you know, and big ups to Rod Records. He's got talented artists, Brandon Hart and um, Dusty Lee. <laughs> Not to mention, Demon's been out on that tour with, with the Lax, man. So Demon is definitely quietly putting that work in. Well, I, I think I want him to get more. I want him to get more work. Like, he, he deserves it, 1,000%. All right, man, real quick. This, this, this song, this, I, this is the vibe that I got. Because I, I kept getting the singing dude. What's his name again? Burn County? He got, when I said he was giving me that Justin Timberlake feel, I, kept, I was getting Say Something. You know, Say Something by uh, Justin Timberlake with 
Chris Stapleton. I was getting that vibe. Not so much the same tempo. It was just, a, it's a good, it's a feel good song. It's something that boosts your spirits. It's something that makes you shake your ass when you hear it. Like, while you're cleaning the house, this is definitely something that'll give you a, a pep in your step. Or while you're exercising, it'll help motivate you because you're now with it and you're rocking with it. Like that type of vibe. We don't get a lot of that music. We don't get a lot of that music, period. Like, period, period. Like, and we ain't talking about genre, but when country rap gets it, it's the stuff apart from everybody else that is in the genre because it's levels better. Because now it's, it's, there's an emotional connection. There's a vibe that he's tapping into that very few others have even attempted to tap into it because they just don't care or they don't have the ability to do so. He's shown that he does. This is a rare find. Major labels need to get on this record. I don't know if he wants to do a label deal or not, but this is definitely a major label single. And they could ride this shit out for at least a year or two based off of the vibe. You already got the video. The video is already there. Just put the shit on. Just put the money in it so you can put it on radio and get the spins that it deserves and do whatever you got to do at that point. But this is definitely single deal worthy. I don't, again, I don't know if he would sign a major deal as a you know an artist overall, but he deserves something from this. Something for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, man. Another great show. More great, a lot of great music. David Morris, come back. New breed, Jesse Howard, older. Yeah, get over that. Get get over that girl, David. Get over her. It's, it's not worth it. Go on and stay with the girl you got. David, David seems like he's sending out applications for side chicks. <laughs> he already got a side chick. That's what the chick he's with is a side chick. Get over her, bro. Like <laughs> You done made the girl that you with your side chick and she don't even know it. You, you, Cause you're still thinking about the other shit. Come on, fam. I paid attention to the lyrics, fam. We do listen to the stuff that we do get. Like, come on, man. That's funny though. It's funny. David, David Mars probably is being broke up with as we speak. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Oh, so you, oh, oh, it wasn't real? No. Oh, you still oh, thinking about that, Mitch? <laughs> no, oh, I didn't. What? You said what? I didn't even really listen. <laughs> Cut your record, was it? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> New breed, Jesse Howe, Old Dirt Road. I need, if there's Old Dirt Road solo music out there, y'all hit me up, man. I am, bro, that man went in. He did. He, did. he meant that shit. One time for Old Dirt Road, man. And he makes me think of Old Dirty Bastard. Um, tell me uh, about uh, something about a back road and Demon Jones cornfield on fire. All on fire. good music. Um, all different from different perspectives. All four different varieties. Like it's, you gotta love country rap. Gotta love it. Gotta I love fucking love it. Now you know what I'm waiting on. The Luke of country rap. The boot. Well, I thought Dusty Lee was going to be it because he just made nothing but dance record after dance record after dance record. But Austin Tolliver could be it, but you know, he, I don't know. He, he was kind of, he had two left feet in one of them dancing videos. I don't know about that one, fam. I don't know. We could, we could see. Like, I, it would be great to have just a dance type of thing. That would be dope. That would be dope. Do you think we need we'll, that. You think we'll ever get a, a dance country rap record like a two step? Tuesday, or do you think we'll get a chant country record? We're like, hey, we want some cornbread. <laughs> I look, oh my god, I can see TJ Freak doing some shit like that. <laughs> that would be dope, though. I, I don't know. Um, would it be applicable? Yes, I would love it. Uh, if I don't, would we be taken serious though? Like, we already catch slack from rap now. Like, how would they view that we're? biting concepts over here or borrowing concepts from core rap and translating them over here. I don't I don't know if that would fly. But I, yes, I think we do need something like that. I don't know who could do it. I can't see anybody. Well, maybe there's a couple that could possibly do it. Um, again, I keep referring back to that record that Gator has by Savannah. If they do that right, that is definitely a dance record. If, if they get the viral shit together and put together the right campaign and get a line dance, with the record is over then that will be the wobble or the electric slide for country rap and they're gonna run with that shit for some years i mean I, I think wobble is still in the top 200 on itunes still to this day 
uh, and it's been out a decade or more. Amen. I'm not trying to date myself. I, I I just can I can see. I just think it, I mean why not? All these artists grew up on hip hop, so to, to right make, and and in hip hop we having songs being recreated. So you know who would do it then? Anthony B. Smoke. No, he's too serious. He's, Come on, bro. You know his his production is back in that time anyway, so he might as well go ahead and recreate the shit. He he is right there with it. No, he not the booty shake, not the dance. I'm talking about the other stuff, the maybe the line dance stuff or something like something along those lines. Or the maybe like a, a woe something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he, he would be applicable to do something with a throwback vibe. Because most of his production that we've been hearing has all been thrown back. I can just hear, hey, we want some cornbread. Me and my partners <laughs> like to play this game. Some Bro, you finna, you, somebody going somebody gonna to take that. Somebody going to take that. Free. Some call it hush puppy. Hey. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, man. How a be, video. TJ Free. There has to be an artist who doesn't take himself so serious that he makes good, true life. First of all, and again, I don't know if this is necessary, but right. it ain't like country rappers ain't fucking. They're men. They're having sex. Who's going to be the one that right. put that on track? Or do country rap want that? Because they're getting groupies. I don't know if it's more of a matter of a want right now. It's a matter of stepping outside of the box and doing it. Because, I mean, I don't know if we wanted Adam and his lyricism, but we got it. And it's here, you know, and because his is definitely a different type of production than your quote unquote stereotypical country rap. I don't know if we wanted Broadnax and his Southern draw, but we got it. No. So it was a matter of you, you being country comfortable with whatever you got and putting it out there. Hey, man, there's got to be somebody who just wants to fucking have fun. That would be so. I mean, what is um the, the dude that did the Jurassic Park thing? Like, he's not that. Big Murph. Yeah, I mean, I need, that video I was... Someone, I need someone who says, fuck it, because as as I see, again, I'm bringing her up, we haven't brought up, as I, the more I watch, the more I watch Savannah Je Dexter, the mm -hmm. more I see Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, to the point where she puts up TikTok videos using their music just as much as she uses her own. Okay, that's nothing wrong with that. That's, no, no, that's, it's not. That's her line. So she is definitely if 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 someone calls Savannah Dexter the country rap version of Nicki Minaj, they wouldn't be out of pocket. That's her influence. So why can't we right. have a country rap version of Luke and the Two Live Crew, but not on no parody shit? On some hey man, we right. just we're gonna go crank this thing up. It's not like I they don't know, curse. Man. I don't know. I don't know. So, maybe, maybe somebody, maybe you, you might have just gave somebody an idea and they should go create it. Because think about it. If you're the only person in the lane, they're going to either love you or hate you. But if it's right. done, if it's done, if it's ever done, it's got to be done respectfully. Like, it can't come off like a parody. It's got to come off like this is what we do. We're from them sticks, but we like them girls in the days of dudes. We like them twerking. We like to pour book cores light on them, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, like, make it fun and, and tear the clubs up, bro. Can you imagine the shows they would get? Who does – can you imagine a country rap two live crew at the Redneck Rave? That, that needs to be a group, man, for sure, not a solo act. That definitely needs to be a group. So, all right, man, just, just a little pool for thought. I probably just gave somebody – a half a million on an idea. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And they've been around with it and not give Country Rap Report any credit. No competition they will have at this moment. But I think it needs to be a new artist. I don't think it needs to be anyone that's even established a little bit. I think this person needs to be that 100 follower guy who says, hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm not. I'm not doing anything right now. Let me try this. Yeah. Why not? Or or Big Poe, you know, or T 
TJ Free, or any of you guys who check out the show, Coca. Maybe you got a homeboy who's fiddling around with it, and you might say, hey, let's get together. I'll help you pin this shit, but this is the lane you need. Because it's wide open. Because you can't tell me they didn't do that with Savannah Dexter. Oh, for sure. That was definitely a lane. And, and, and when Savannah's not the only one that has been done with in this genre. She's just the most recent. Uh, but it's, it's definitely been done. But she took it to, she's taken it to a level that it hasn't been done. Because she created her own lane. Yes. So She's in a pocket by, all by herself. Uh, until somebody else comes along with the same type of sex appeal and not afraid to throw their sex appeal out there, then she will be in that lane exclusively. But for right now, you know, it, it's hers. She ain't no disputing it. And she, you know what, she can, she can succeed or fail because it's her lane. Right. All right. Ain't no failing. She can experiment, make the biggest mistake in the world and it'll damn near go unnoticed because it's, her lane. Right. And, and there, is, what, there is no failing, fam. Like, yeah. the, the, the failing happens when you don't try because it's, you know, there's no one else to compete with. I can't lose. The same way that we talked about with the kid rapping, like, right now, there's no one else in this lane with you, fam. Like, I may have gave a different type of critique on it, but you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to win. There's nobody else out here like you, fam. Like, nobody at all. Like, Keep them, keep, keep at it. All you got to do is be consistent with the work and you will sell records because this fan base over here is starving for talent. All you got to do is supply it. All right, man. We're going to get 20 more minutes worth of gems for free. All right. Like, who needs a consultation when they can just watch the Country Rap Report? They all should be watching Country Rap Report, driving those numbers up. Hey, I got y'all on the hook. Hey, we want some. Well, well that's true. Something. Cornbread. Cornbread. <laughs> no. Cornbread. What's, what? No, because see, if you, say, hey, want, <laughs> if you say, hey, we want some cornbread, it makes it corny. Like, go there. Like, hey, we want some whatever the country word for the JJ is. I don't know what they call it. You know, hey, we want some coon. No. I mean, <laughs> some phone time. I don't know what they call it. I have no idea. And I ain't saying just, but I'm just telling you. There is a, they might not want to admit it, but you can't tell me. The, first of all, women supported Two Dog Crew just as much as the men. True. Summertime, true. Daisy Dukes cut off shorts. Shh, boy. They take the, the TJ Freak record, the Rumbling record. Get all right. them girls. Get all them girls from that video. Get the two girls that was on top of the car in the last hard talking video. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, oh. just go <laughs> there with it. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery, bro. Well, if you're going to go there with it, you got to go all the way there with it. Like, Two Loud Crew, they did a lot of uncensored stuff. Like, bro. they had strippers on stage, man. Like, we, we, you know this. So their their shows were X-rated. It was oh. like going to the strip club. Go. Oh. So who what what gentleman who listens to country rap rap music wouldn't like to go to the country strip club? I might well I might well call my album the country strip club. Stop giving out more jewels. So now you don't gave them a you don't gave them a concept. You don't gave them a whole group concept. You don't gave them an the album concept. Like it was all for free. Strip club, strip club in the middle of the cornfield. <laughs> I go have. Corn, I get my graphic corn. guys to have a strip club in a bro. <laughs> I'm there, buddy. I'm there. I'm. I'm. Look. I'm trying. Matter of fact, I'm trying to get kicked out of strip shows. The Album number one. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get kicked out of shows. I'm trying to do. I'm right now looking at two live crew and doing everything they have done. But in country rap, but again, the only thing that makes it successful, the music has to be serious. It can't be no weird arrow Yankovic type of shit. Right, right, right. Bro, you win. You win. I'm like I watch um live performances by the sticks and the sticks be pouring 
like um, alcohol in people's mouths. Like, bro, I'm doing all that. But my but my my girls and Daisy Dukes are doing that. I'm selling. I'm bro. Let me stop. You're right. Let me stop. Bro, you know Luke used to take his dick out on stage. First you of all, and I'm glad you said that because it was something I wanted to say, and you just opened the doorway. All that too. Luke, Mr. Luther Campbell, aka Luke Skywalker, is the right. first rapper to ever get Palacio on stage <laughs> during a live show. Google it. This was before the internet. That shit was floating around on VHS. Luke was that is, uh, he got head on stage. I don't want to talk about this shit. Hey man, <laughs> you you said pull this dick out. So I didn't want to say that when I said two live crew. You just opened the door. For hey, me. bro, I'm just giving. They gonna learn about it when they start looking it up. Like who is two live? Crew? How many people probably remember this shit? This is before their time. Like they, I don't even know if they know who Uncle Luke is or Luther. They know who Luther Campbell is, the activist, but they don't know who the two live crew was and the members that are in it and the type of impact that they had on hip hop. Like they, it's because of them, we got the fucking front end. Right? We, we, this, is, this is all, this is, this is music history, not just pop history, but music history. You ain't nothing but a daddy mama. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. I'm, 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 I'm. Hoot your mama, hoot your mama. Bro, I'm, I'm going to find me a, a country rapper right now. Stop giving shit, stop giving it, stop doing it. I'm gonna find me a country rapper right now and say, shut the fuck up and listen. So, hey man. All right, man, that's it for me. It seems like my Wi Fi is starting to act up, and that's always a sign from the internet God saying, you gotta get your ass ready to go to work. Um, ladies and my boys and girls, keep <laughs> all the participants in country rap, keep growing, but also keep an open mind because. Those 320 dislikes just bother me. They just bother me on the record that good. It just bothered me. Right. Me too. And and can't you take a dislike back? Can you take it back? You can. You can take a dislike or a like back. Yes, you can. If you hit dislike on Demon Jones record, you need to go back and take it back. Take it back. Because you're wrong. You're wrong. I know Demon even got the goddamn hat on in the video for y'all. What y'all mad about? It ain't like he didn't wear the hat. He got the hat on. Leave him fuck alone. Let him grow. Right. Again, bro, Demon Jones, Chris Calico show, pushing this record. They out of there. You got two, two showmen, two veterans that could really, really do something. Shouts out to Chris Calico, Ear House Music. Shouts out to Demon Jones, Raw Records. And um, hey, man. If you haven't listened to that record, listen to every record we reviewed. But if you haven't listened to that record and watched that video, before you hit play, listen to it with an open mind. Listen to it with an open yeah. mind. Yeah. That's all I got, man. That's all I got, man. All right, man. If you're out there and you need a good idea or concept, there is one in this episode. Watch the episode. Go to There's the one in every episode. Yeah, one, we give ideas in all of all of our episodes. Hey man, I'm. I think I think you can do it with two guys, two live farm boys. I don't know. Now that's corny. I'm just saying. Two live farm boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> that sounds like a porn fam, and and not a straight one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to get the hell up out of here, man. It's your boy, Big XL. All right, y'all. She do think. All right, man. Country Rail Report. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.